hidden deep in the mountains and hills of western Nevada, at an altitude of 5,600 feet, lies an interesting silver mine, with gold and copper being secondary commodities. Exposed lens, quartz, or bodies exist all along the side of the hill, sheltered by large layers of rhyolite tuff and surrounded by thick layers of limestone laid down during the late Cretaceous and Neoproterozoic periods from 145 million to 541 million years ago. First discovered in 1864, this mine began production in 1865 with the implementation of an inclined rail trestle as well as a cable tram system to help lower silver ore to the base of the hill. A report was filed in 1878 stating that this mine was producing period values of $100 per ton of silver with over $200,000 totally produced throughout the lifetime of the mine. Today, all that remains is weathered and sun-baked timbers with equipment and steel long since scrapped prior to World War II. We begin our adventure today by taking a look at one of the more interesting ruined structures in the area, and we take another look at the adit where I was forced to retreat due to the presence of some sort of large animal. Critters, large and small, make abandoned mines their home, so today come with me as we investigate and try to determine what type of animal was living in this abandoned mine. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, well we are back at what we're all calling now <laughs> the Sasquatch mine. Um, if you can remember last weekend, I went into this mine and I got chased out by what was probably a pretty large critter. I gave it a couple of days and uh, hopefully the critter left by now. We're gonna find out, we're gonna go inside and see what this thing might be. Um, we're gonna look around, see if we can't find some scat or some footprints and try to figure out what made all that ruckus the last time I was in here. Now today I've got my bear spray with me as well as my sidearm. But understand guys, these places, you know, ultimately this is the critter's home and I'm not here to do any, any harm whatsoever to the critter. So if we get a little close and if we can see what it is, we're still gonna back out of this mine and just leave him alone. Okay, let's head on inside and see what this one's all about. All right, everybody, let's explore this old mine. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is uh, let's beam all the way up in there. See if we can't see any glowing eyes. I'm not seeing anything right now. Okay. So as we work our way up in here, we're gonna make a lot of noise just like we're doing right now. Um, maybe we'll get this thing to run and make some noise like it did last time. But we're working, we're working through a bunch of granite rock and uh, it's gonna intersect up with a couple of shafts higher up in here. And now we're gonna stop again and listen. And look. Okay, we're still good to go. Listen and look, that's important. Like I said last weekend, you do not want to corner a mountain lion. Okay, listen and look one more time. Still nothing. So, right down here, this is where I bit the dust <laughs> and uh, skinned myself up really good right through this area. That's where I turned around and started beating feet. Okay, 
Let's keep on going. Now here we've got, okay, this material right through here, um, there's two shafts higher up on the hill. And I'm guessing that's where this material is coming down. Yep. All right, but before we look up there, again, I want to peer further up into the mine. See if we can't see any glowing eyes. No, still nothing. Um, off to the right here, you can see that's where that shaft goes up. Now we're going to come back and revisit this because I want to keep my focus going down the adit in case we come in contact with that critter. What is that? Oh, it's a fan blade off of a vehicle. Okay. Now we're coming into the second shaft. Yep, right there. We got a bunch of barbed wire laying all over the place. Pop cans and beer cans that people have thrown down over the years. Oh, this is, I'm gonna be real careful through here because if that bugger is perched on a rock, this would be a good place for him to be. Nope. But, uh, all right, we'll come back and revisit that. Let's peek down there a little bit further, see if we can see anything. Yes, we're taking a very cautious approach on this explore. And so far, I'm not seeing any footprints on the ground here. And you're not, you know, the the padding on the paws of a mountain lion are pretty soft, so on hard pack like this, you're probably not gonna see footprints. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because we are getting up into an area where if we were gonna corner this guy, this is where it's gonna be. All right, so, the mine splits off and goes that direction and then it keeps going straight. Um, let's keep going straight. What do we got here? Funyuns? Yeah, our, our critter must like Funyuns, huh? <laughs> I suppose all sorts of stuff has blown down in here over the years. Now, what do we have here? Those up into a raise? Probably another shaft on the hill. Okay, we'll come back and revisit that. Oh, that one. Okay. Okay, let's work our way back to uh, the left-hand side here. There we go. And we'll go left. Okay, making lots of noise. So far, so good. I'm not hearing or seeing anything. Let's peer up in there. Nope, nothing moving around. Okay. So I'm guessing this is probably, this is a more modern mine, probably dug out in the 70s or the 80s. Um, because they were using wheeled, they were using wheeled muckers in this mine. That's why it's so large. Okay, let's look up in here. What do we have down on the floor? There's a bunch of gloves. Looks like some pieces and pieces of someone's coveralls. Okay. And what do we have here? Oh, we've got our, oh, here's an ore pass. 
that's a good sign. Oops, wrong button. That's a good sign because that means we're going to have some workings higher up on the hill that we're going to have to explore. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the main haulage at it. And keep on working our way down. We've got an old kerosene can there. Okay. And I'm just working my way through this mine pretty darn quick. There's not too much to see geology-wise, as it's it's just a basically an ore pass. Um, they're dropping the ore down from higher up on the hill from the various veins and ore bodies. Okay, let's stop here a moment and look and listen. Still, still doing good. Okay, we have another ore pass here. And that one's pretty much choked off. Um, but that's how they would do it, guys, is... So they're dropping the ore down these ore passes, and then it would end up in a pile right here over a period of time, and then a wheeled mucker would come in here, scoop out the muck, or, or all of that rock, and haul out of the mine. Okay, I'm really happy that we didn't run into the critter, but that doesn't say that he might not be up in one of these... Uh, these other ore passes. Let's go back to uh, one of those other raises and climb up in there and see what we can see. I'll see you back there. Okay, we're headed back out of the mine. You can see off in the distance there the portal. And this is where I heard all of that noise and rock as whatever it was um, ran up in here. Now, you can see how this is kind of conically shaped. I'm thinking what happened, whatever I scared probably ran up to this point and then shot up into this ore pass. I'm looking real close for footprints or any, any kind of newly, newly disturbed rock and I'm not seeing anything. Let's get around the corner. This is really hard to... Let's see if I can somehow climb this and see if it's even plausible for a big kitty to jump up into this thing. Oh yeah, that'd be easy. Give me just a second folks, I gotta get my footing here. Oh absolutely. That's what happened. There's where he went. That would be easy for a big cat to climb up. It's at about maybe, I'm gonna say 75 to 80 degrees. I'll bet that's what he did. He ran right up that sto or right up this ore pass and he exited the mine higher up on the hill. Cause you know, those big animals, they're gonna know what their, their escape routes are. Okay, now that we've seen this, let's go take a look at the other one. I'll see you over there. All right, we've worked our way a little bit closer to the portal. We're coming up on that other ore pass right here. Now, let's take a look up in this one. I gotta be real careful. This is pretty darn crumbly here. Here we go. What's left of a fence? Let's see how steep this one is. Here we go. Okay. Again, it's at this, about the same angle. So that makes it totally plausible that that's where the critter escaped to. He just bounced. Ran right up the sides, ba-ding, 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 all the way up the ore pass and exited out the top of the mountain. 
Okay, let's work our way back to the portal. See you back there. All right, guys, so I worked my way back. This was the approximate location uh, where I heard all of the noise. So I think what happened was I got to this point in the last episode, the animal was probably up in front of me, say about, I'm gonna say 40, 50 feet, either at that first ore pass or the second one. I'll bet he was at the first ore pass when I spooked him. Then he, then he took off running, made a whole bunch of ruckus, made it to that second ore pass, and then just shot straight up it, bounced off the walls, you know, cause like I said, you know, a mountain lion, they can climb pretty good. He just bingity, 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 ran up the side of the, up, up the ore pass and out the mountain. Um, I looked all over, I didn't, I didn't see any noticeable uh, footprints, but this is pretty hard dirt here. Um, if it, even if it was a big cat, he's not gonna leave a sizable footprint in, in dirt like this. So uh, that pretty much concludes the mystery of the large animal. We know that it wasn't a wild pig because, because they're gonna have a hoof and that would definitely dig, dig into the dirt. I didn't see anything like that. So I think what we had here, guys, was a big cat and I spooked him up the ore pass and out the mountain that weekend. Okay, well, we've got a lot of other cool things around here, so let's head on over to the next mine. I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, uh, one more thing. Before we get out of this area, um, right over there was the portal. They had this really interesting powder shack through here. I thought I'd show it to you. Good to work in here. Yeah. And how they cut in. That's that's how they granite. used. To, yep, that's how they used to do it. So what they would to do to concentrate the blast that way. Correct. Like both sides. Yep. And then had all this flyaway rock on the front, and it could just go. But yeah. So if there was an accident, out here towards the door is the blast direction. And this is probably like the most optimal setup I've seen in one of these. I mean, the blast's going that way, flat out. Exactly. Yep. And uh, around the corner here. Let me show you guys the rest of it. So all the wood shelves and all that stuff is gone. Uh, kind of interesting. Nice one. Yeah. Look at that nice work, honestly. Yeah, they they Not really some nice work. put some time putting all those rocks into place like that. Okay, well, like I said, we've got some more mines in this area, so uh, let's head on over there. All right, so I worked my way to the top of the hill because I wanted to find where those ore passes came up up and out and where quite possibly that that animal ran to and I found one of them see this here that's where they were passing the ore down into that haulage at it right there so a moment ago we were just right down in the bottom of that now there's other ones around here let's see if we can find them too all right so I didn't have to go much further and I found the ore pass that uh, remember when we were all the way to the very very end of the haulage at it okay there's the ore pass top side coming out right here now off to my right we've got an area where they were stoping okay and uh, it's pretty sketchy see this big boulder right here that fell fell off the back of the stope off that crotch right there and then they've got they've got these stalls there's a little tiny guy over there holding up just a huge amount of rock and a couple of these um this is way 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 too fragmented in here for my comfort level uh i'm not going to go down underneath this it's just too dangerous see the cracks in the rock above uh yeah but we can look off to the left here more than likely that's going to be another ore pass right there around the corner this isn't the mine i wanted to show you guys i just wanted to show you how ore passes work so they were working these veins up here on top of the mountain then dropping the uh the ore down through ore passes and out that big haulage jet that we were in okay now i want to work our way over to the next big mine for the day i'll see you over there all right, so as we work our way uh, down the side of this hill to the next big mine, you can remember when this video started out, I, I showed you a uh, an inclined rail 
slash uh, trestle that was working down along the side of this hill. Up there you can see old Bob and as we work our way down the side of the hill you can see where they've been stoping. Now look at how unstable this is. So at one time they stoped out the vein and since then all these huge blocks of rock have fallen uh, from the back of the mine or from the, the roof of the stope. And look at this down here. See that pillar? That tiny little pillar that's only about maybe a foot or to two feet in diameter is holding up this just giant rock right here. Here's another look at that skinny pillar with my walking stick next to it. Notice the crack that has formed up the side of the pillar right up to the left of my walking stick and working its way right up the side there. That tiny little pillar is holding up just a huge amount of rock. I'm not going to get anywhere near that. But the nice thing about this See, the miners had to leave these pillars in place um, to, to hold up these large, large volumes of waste rock. So that right there gives you an indication of what they were mining. That's what they were pulling off the side of this hill and sending down to be processed. Okay, right there is the inclined rail I was telling you about. Off to my left here. is where they had the winch set up on that platform. And behind me is where they were mining the vein off the side of this hill. And we just came from right up there. Now over here, we might have an adit. Let's go see. Now the first thing I'm seeing here is we've got uh, a place where they spray painted a strike zone through here. A little bit of the vein was left through that area. Yeah, we've got an ore pass here. Okay. And I can see a little bit of daylight down there. Let's shoot the flashlight. Maybe we can see. Yeah, definitely an ore pass. Okay, maybe we can find where that spits out closer to the bottom of the hill. And then we have an adit over here. And I'm going to be real careful because, and that's as far as it goes. I don't want to be underneath this rock. It's very, very geologically unstable. Let's keep working down the side of this mountain and see if we can find where these ore passes are spitting out. Alrighty, so I've worked my way further on down the mountain and now we're pretty much level with the inclined rail. Now way out there in the distance, and we're going to head there in a moment, you can see uh, what looks to be possibly some uh, what are called tram towers. We'll go see what that is in a moment, but for now, let's turn around here like I said, we're right at the level of the incline rail as well as where the uh, winch was set up. And here's the, here's the main haulage at it. So I would bet that all of the uh, ore passes are gonna lead right here. Let's find out. I've got a couple of wire insulators on the back of the mine right there. Okay, and as I work through here, I am looking for rattlesnakes. Okay, we're at our first, first ore pass. 
that's where we just were a moment ago. Let's keep on going. Now there is a whole lot of wind blowing through here. Wow, it's just screaming through here. We got a big collapse. I don't actually don't think it's a collapse. I think what we have here is rock coming down from another ore pass. Let's see if we can safely scoot past this. Um, oh boy. Without anything big falling on our heads. Yeah. Here we go. Let me show it to you guys. Right here. See? Or pass number two. There's going to be a bunch of them through this section. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, I wouldn't have, wouldn't, wouldn't have want to been standing here when all that rock come down. Now in this ore pass, I can see indentations on the floor from the cross ties. So they weren't using a wheeled mucker at this location. And another one. This hill is just riddled with ore passes. And this is perfect, and I mean absolute perfect, uh, mountain lion habitat right through here. Lots of escape routes. Okay. And off to the left, another ore pass. And more insulators. Okay, let's keep on going. This is really interesting how they decided to mine off the side of this hill. And that's as far as it goes. So that would have also been an ore pass, but notice it's all chocked full of muck. And whatever else has fallen down here since, since back then. Okay, I wanna work my way back out of here and uh, let's head on down to where those tram lines were. I'll see you over there. Okay, well we've made it to what I think used to be part of the tram tower. Now, if you look down there, or actually look in the uh, upper right-hand part of your screen, you'll see where they built a road to access this location. And then from this point, they probably had a cable tram system going down to that road, or they loaded up the trucks off somehow off of this platform. Now, there's a lot of debris around here that at one time was probably used for that tram, but since since then it's all fallen over and uh, rotting and decayed. Now around the corner here we have another adit and again down on the ground laying on this iron plate another separation pile of ore that never made it off the mountain. Now these separation piles they weren't laid here by the original miners. These piles were laid here by prospectors that came along later and uh, we're reworking this area. Let me back up a second here and show you guys. Let's do a nice close look. Right there. That is a fine example of gold ore with a little bit of silver. Um, right there you can see some silver, that gray coming out of the rock there. I might uh, gather up a few nice specimens of this and offer it on my eBay site. Um, I know there's some of you that might like a piece of that for your rock collection. 
Okay, we've got another adit going in this way. Let's see if we can work our way around the welcome sign here. Pretty crumbly through here. And uh, let's see what's in here. It's always hard getting around the. Mm, okay. I hope we have a little bit more light on the situation. There we go. Boy, this is a really small tunnel. Not much to it. It's only about four feet tall. No, a little bit more than that. I mean, five. What do we have up in here? Oh, we have some sort of cribbing. Uh huh. Oh, it's what's left of an ore chute. See right here, there's the ore pass up there. And uh, yeah, this was an ore chute. What's left of it. All right, well that is it for all of the adits and stopes along the side of this mountain. Let's see what else we can find around this location. I'm gonna head back over to old Bob and Mr. M and uh, see if we can find something else that's pretty cool for you. Okay guys, we worked our way, oh I don't know, I'd say probably 20-30 miles to the next location. Now on the map, this showed some really, really large adits with some just gigantic waste rock piles. Um, and I found this one here. Now you notice the bacon strips uh, and rock bolts going into the portal. That's an indication that what we have here is a modern mine. So uh, what do you say we skinny down into this they, they they piled a bunch of boulders here at the portal to keep people out but there's a little rabbit hole i can worm my way down into let's head on in there and see what we can find let's see if i can wiggle my way through these great big boulders Oh boy. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. <clears throat> okay, now we'll come back up here. Grab the camera. Ooh. All right, I got it. Okay, and uh, help if we had a little bit of light. There we go. Shed a little light on the subject here. And there we are. Okay, what do we have here? Wow, great big area. Rock bolts are popping and pulling away from the back of the mine up there. Well, this is interesting. Maybe this is as far as it goes, or could be, these be some old workings right here? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to try to get over here. All right, I'm gonna have to set the camera down for a moment, guys. And uh, before I can, there we go. 
Now this might be false floor. I gotta be real careful here. Yeah. Okay, looking off to my right, we've got some sort of a false floor and possible ore pass with the attic going off to the right. We also have something going off to the left up in here. What do we have? Well, that's as far as it goes. They were just following that vein. Looks like we have some old cabinetry or something. What is this here? Oh, <laughs> let's see if I can protect your children. Lock up these blasting caps. Box of blasting caps. Okay. Circling back around now. Now, we have to see what this is all about. Is that an ore pass? Well, it just goes right down there and stops. I think we can stay on this big plank without falling through to get to the other side. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, look at the beautiful vein structure right through here. You can see where it starts right there and then continues on to the hanging wall off here to the right. Let's see if I can get a better better shot of that for you guys. See that? That is a beautiful looking quartz vein and it has all the indications of being gold rich. You see the iron, you see the iron oxides coming out of that. We even have uh, some limonites poking their way out and off here to the left. That's a beautiful vein of, of silver right here, right there. See how it's gray and dark? That's silver. Gorgeous. All right, well, that's as far as that goes. Let's take another closer look at whatever this is. I might have to move a few planks. Oh, I can't move that plank. All right, let's get down. We're gonna poke the camera down here. Oh, guys, um, okay, right there, uh, let's see if I can find my finger here. Okay, right there, we got one, two, three, that's just what I can see on top. Three sticks of dynamite laying there, see that? Yeah, we don't want to be crawling down into that. All right. Get the up out of that hole. There we go. Okay, that's as far as this one goes. Let's work our way back to the uh, back over there to the main, uh, the big main portal. I'll see you over there. Okay, I really appreciate you coming along for this explore, and I'll see you all again next weekend. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>